Greetings, this is Matt Fiello, Technical Marketing Engineer with the Cisco Cloud Networking Compute BU, and we're back with another Intersight Manage Mode Expert Series video. Today, we're going to talk about another server profile policy, the IMC Access Policy. So as we've done in this series, we're going to introduce the policy and a few slides and discuss some points there and then move on to a short demonstration. OK, so uh, as we've done with uh, other videos in the series, I'd like to introduce all the server policies. So now we have 39 total. And for those that have been following the series closely, we used to have 38. Now we have 39. We picked up a thermal policy over here. OK, so we'll be talking about that uh, policy in a separate video. Um, but for now, we have 39 total server policies. And of those 39 total server policies, 30 of these policies will apply to intersite managed mode. So that's our focus. The nine policies that you see highlighted here apply largely to standalone C-series use cases. Um, a few of these policies also get used by uh, the domain profile, so they show up as a domain policy as well. Okay, and then that brings us to uh, the policy that we'll discuss uh, today, the IMC access policy. And where can you find that? Well, it's infrastructure service and in Intersight. Go down to policies. We like to filter on UCS server policies uh, if we're talking about server policies. And then uh, there you go, IMC access. Okay, so let's talk about the IMC access policy. Um, it's pretty important because it defines the IP address. Uh, and uh, VLAN, if it's in band, uh, for your CIMC uh, on your blade or compute node, okay? And that is, uh, in turn, used by a bunch of other policies, things like drive security, like SNMP, like Syslog, like vMedia, vKVM, IPMI, zero over land. Okay, so it is, in fact, uh, used across the board for those policies. And uh, as I alluded to, you have both in-band and out-of-band capabilities as far as in-band goes. That's the traffic that's being steered through the FI uplink ports or port channels. Okay, and you do have to, in fact, designate a VLAN ID if you're using in-band. But you have your choice of uh, uh, IP4 configuration or IP6 configuration or both. Okay. Now, uh, you designate the IP pool, okay, so that's a policy that you're going to include with the IMC access policy. And that can include both, um, that pool can include both uh, blocks for IP4 and IP6. As far as out of band goes, I mean, that's the traffic being steered through the one gig management port for the FIs, okay. And the IP pool for that only supports uh, the IP4 configuration. OK, as far as uh, whether this IMC access policy is required, uh, no, it's not absolutely required uh, for a successful server profile deployment. But your IMC is going to need an IP address, especially to service any of these other policies here, everything from uh, syslog to vMedia to KVM, et cetera. All right, so it's a pretty important policy. You are going to have to correctly configure it uh, as part of your server profile. Um, as far as recommendations go, um, there's really no best practice other than configure the policy correctly with the correct IP scheme, VLAN if it's in band, uh, et cetera. Um, I have posted a, a URL here for the on-site, uh, online uh, intersite help for server policies. I will post that in the comments section as well, so it's easy to get to uh, for further clarification. Um, as far as verification, it's pretty easy. You can go right in the UI and go to the server and look at the general tab. You can see the IP address assigned uh, to the server uh, for more details, okay, like uh, the VLAN, et cetera. Uh, you can go to inventory management controller to find those those uh, details. 
Okay, and as with all IMM expert series videos, I like to include a graphic about the uh, the policy in question and how it relates to the server profile template or server profile. So as you can see here on the screen, it is a direct attached policy. Um, as far as embedded goes, uh, there's well, there's no embedded policies. Uh, there's an embedded pool. Okay, you need an IP pool. Okay, so you're going to want to have to configure an IP pool correctly. Uh, whether that's in band or out of band, whether that's uh, IPv4, IPv6, uh, so that you can access that pool with the IMC access policy. Okay, so for a short demonstration, let's create a IMC access policy. And here we are in Intersight, Infrastructure Service, and we're going to go down to Policies. And we're going to go over here and create a policy. I like to filter on the platform type. So we're talking about UCS server policies. And there's our IMC access policy. So click start. You're going to want to verify and check your organization and make sure that's correct. Then you're going to give it a meaningful name. Click next. And then I'm going to select uh, UCS server FI attached. And for my use case, uh, I'm going to demonstrate using uh, in-band. All right, so I'm going to provide a, a VLAN ID, uh, preferably of your management VLAN. Okay, uh, I am going to keep the IPv4 default configuration, and uh, I'm going to select my pool. I'm going to select the pool, and then click Create. Now, um, I'm going to demonstrate the filtering capability here. For those uh, that haven't figured this out, um, you can filter on a variety of different things. You can filter out, uh, filter on the name of the uh, policy itself. Um, but I'm going to pick type, and I get presented with all the different types of policies out there. So um, I'm going to scroll down to IMC access, and then there's my policy I just created. that concludes our video today about IMC access policies. I sure hope you were able to learn uh, a few things along the way. Stay tuned for more Intersight Manage Mode Expert Series videos. Thank you.